Stage of Fools is a theater ensemble. It's a collective of artists who want to produce and perform intimate plays in intimate spaces. We're really focused on the story and having the audience leave with that in mind and how it relates to them and their human experience. A lawyer named Cunningham brings forth the case of Judas Iscariot to debate whether or not he's innocent in the betrayal of Jesus. What I think is really interesting is that to so many people this is a case that has only one answer. The play is about judgment. Judgment is a huge part of this play. And when we think of Judas Iscariot, we think of him as the poster child of betrayal. But what the play does a really good job of doing is taking a step back and, and seeing what he was like as a son and what he was like as a friend and developing an empathy for this person. He's a very flawed and wounded individual. Audiences are able to see themselves easily in Judas and there's a humanity to him. You get not only two very convincing sides to whether or not he's innocent or guilty, but you also see the innocence and guilt in so many other characters. Pilate, Caiaphas, St. Peter, and St. Matthew, and St. Thomas, Sigmund Freud, and Mother Teresa, to Judas's own mother. The writing in the play specifically just brings such a modern feel and sensibility to the characters. It's just so interesting to think about these people that we only know from words on a page. And going through and looking at each and every one of those characters and why they made the decisions that they made and to give you a new perspective on each and every one of them. The questioning that happens in the court case is in search of individuals' truth and it's so hard to find what is the pure truth about what happened because everyone is just thinking from their own perspective. It makes all these characters and all these people human and shows us whether or not you believe these biblical stories, they hold so many human truths in them and so many morals that are so important to us. It's my favorite play for that reason. We're a brand new company. This is our inaugural performance. By being a contributor to our Indiegogo campaign, you're enabling us, one, to get rights for this production, two, to secure a performance space. We're performing at Art House North, which is a renovated church in St. Paul. So securing those rights and also securing that space allows us to perform this play for this specific community. When it comes to breaking down the funds, unfortunately, artist compensation either goes by the wayside or it falls last. Everyone that joined this process wanted to do the project for the subject matter. Even though everyone is very passionate still and very excited, we would love to raise some money for small stipends for actors and the production team. And then any money that would be left over would remain with a stage of fools to prepare and look to the future. I think this play is an important play for people to see. I think the show promotes understanding. I think it promotes being able to coexist. It allows you to enter into the ideas of love and forgiveness and mercy in a, in a new way. When people leave the show, I would just hope that maybe they have a, just a different outlook on how they view other people's lives and their truths. You get out of it the same thing that you would get out of any argument or court case, which is just kind of a mix of confusion and feelings. Not knowing if the things that you thought before are true and whether or not you should go with your head and believe what you've been told or whether or not you should go with your gut and believe what you're feeling. There's such an argument that's happening between these two lawyers, whether he's guilty or whether he's innocent, and it's more complex than that. The question ultimately becomes whether he's able to be forgiven and if he can forgive himself. And I think that relates to all of the other characters in what they've done in their lives and the choices that they've made and whether they feel that they're able to forgive themselves or whether they deem themselves as being worthy of forgiveness. You're able to really think for yourself in the show and, and hopefully we create a safe space for that.